Welcome back to the chronicles of me being in my car and driving. I am shocker driving to work again today. Um, I have to perform a three point turn right now. What? Yeah. I just dropped Toby off to a hair appointment. <laughs> watching this but I am in Australia um, um we have these things called slow for Sam and if you're like doing the speed limit it'll have like a little smiley face oh I have no idea where I am and they changed it to the Easter Bunny for Easter I personally have no sense of direction so the I even I can't even follow like sat navs <laughs> like I have it like on oh, on my phone's like Google Maps. On my phone's Google Maps, it will tell me what lane to be in and I'll still fuck it up. I still get it wrong. But today is Tuesday. Oh, okay, pull right in front of me. That's a brilliant idea. I think you should definitely do that again. Cause that's not gonna end up with you in a crash, is it? Today is payday. So it means, and I always have this thing, I don't know why, but I always have this thing where like just before I get paid, I have this massive insane urge to spend all of the money that I have saved. So that's what I have to not do today. So you guys are in the loop as well as myself. I do this thing where I like overestimate the amount of time that I have. Wait, no. I underestimate the amount of time it takes for me to do this like trip that I have done like so many times. Like, I think I've driven this way to work literally countless times over the past like year and a half. Cause like even before I got my like license, I was still driving it when I was on my L's. So like I'm very familiar with this route, but I still overestimate how long it's going to take me. I listened to Harry Styles' new song finally. Because I'm not really like an avid Harry Styles listener. It was good. I enjoyed. I would, um, I think I'm going to put it in like my, my big playlist. Because I have a big playlist that's like 80 hours long. I'm going to put every single song that I sort of like. Which is like, it's such an intriguing array of music. It's such an intriguing array of music because there's like, there's like 10 hours worth of Queen in there. And then there's like all of my like rap music, which is like, like all the, from the 90s, except for Kendrick Lamar. He's like the only like modern rapper that I listen to. But I did yesterday, I, li I listened to Lil Skies all day because one of the Staniolo triplets is like obsessed with him. And I was like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta know what this is about. And I gotta say, I did not hate it. It was, it felt really, really weird listening to rap music that wasn't made in the '90s. But I, I, like, I would not be mad if I was in someone else's car and they were playing it. So, like, my music taste is extremely broad. So, in this like one playlist, it's called Denny's Epic P List. Um, there's 80 hours worth of like my entire music taste. It's a bunch of like Hilltop Hoods and um, Bliss and Esso. Like a good bit of like Doja Cat and um, Justin Timberlake, JT. I'm a fan of him. The, the whole like the girly rap music, like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, um, a good bit of Gwen Stefani, Nelly Furtado. Fatata, I don't know how to say her surname, but like promiscuous. Um, uh, there's a really good remix of. I actually don't even know the name of the original song, but it's like the How come every time you come around my London London Bridge wanna go down? That one. 
but there's like a remix of it. There's like a remix of it by Vexen. And that shit is so good. It hits the spot. I like that one. I actually don't even know if that's Nelly Fateta. I feel like that might be Gwen Stefani. A lot of Eminem. The Weeknd. Um, I have one playlist that's literally just The Weeknd and Kendrick Lamar. Jason Derulo, I've been getting back into that guy. I met him when I was 11. Like, I could literally sit and talk about like music forever. And I don't have a favorite art. Oh, Kesha? Kesha. I don't have like a favorite artist because I feel like it always just depends on like what type of mood I'm in. For a uh, bar last year, consistently my top artists on like the my Spotify wrapped. Oh my god, I hope this hasn't been like bouncing around the whole time. But bar last year, my top artist on Spotify wrapped has always been the weekend. And then last year it was Kesha. Um, and then last year my top song was Backstabber by Kesha and that song before it went viral I was like listening to it on repeat. I got everyone around me into it I like resurfaced that song before it actually even resurfaced And then it started going viral on TikTok and I was just like okay So now every time I'm listening to this song someone's gonna think oh, she just she just like watches so much TikTok No, no I I rediscovered it before that and then the year before that my top song was what year was that 2020 oh it was dangerous by David Hugo very good song I found him on TikTok and then the year before that 2019 it was sweet disposition by the temperature <laughs> because I used to just like listen to that song on repeat because it made me, it, it was like a melancholic feeling that I got, but it like, it simultaneously made me sad and happy. So I just like listened to it on repeat. And then the year before that was a rough year. <laughs> um, but my top listen to song, I'm pretty sure was I Fall Apart by Post Malone. That year, that was, that was a rough year. So please no judgment for that one. But yeah, I had like a little clean streak with The Weeknd being my top artist. And then last year, broke it. I listened to like 1,300 minutes of Kesha, which I feel like that's a lot of minutes. I'm very interested to see what my, what my thing for this year will be because I have been having to like log into my Spotify to like play the music at work and obviously the music that gets played at work is not going to be like the music that I really listen to because there's a lot of explicit content in there. <laughs> Actually do you want to know this is like a really specific like strange okay it's a really shit indicator because you did not use it like a strange like era of music that will always like get me going is songs that were on the radio in 2015 because it's like it's nostalgia one and two 2015 was one of the best years of my freaking life i was on <clears throat> camp orange with my sister which i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna force my sister to do a story time on that with me so one i graduated from primary school and the next year is when everything started to go downhill but I graduated from primary school in 2015. I finally became like a young adult. That's a very like loose use of the word. I just remember I like went to Canberra on my like year six trip. That was like, I remember that year was really good. Anything that was like on the radio in 2016, no 15, 2015, was a yes from me. I'm go home, get ahead, light speed, internet. I don't wanna talk about the way that it runs. That person is fucking double parked. That's cheating. I told you long ago on the road. And I'm on the road. Yeah, this one is from the champions. Oh, anyways, thank you so much for watching this. If you made it this far, you should subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time I post a video. Bye!